two different seas that meet, but don't instantly mix. An ancient verse mentioned it 1400 years ago, and today ocean science reveals a real phenomenon behind it. Coincidence? Imagery? A mystery worth exploring? In this world, there are natural phenomena that make explorers pause. Two seas that meet, yet seem reluctant to mix. A subtle boundary, as if separating two realms. More than a thousand years ago, a verse described, he released the two seas meeting side by side. Between them is a barrier they do not cross. Quran 55, 19 to 20. What does this verse mean? Is it metaphor? A poetic imagery? We cannot be certain, but human curiosity pushes us to explore. This verse has been recited for centuries, not as a scientific statement, but as a spiritual text. And yet, when modern oceanography grew, humans began noticing natural phenomena that, perhaps by coincidence, perhaps by parallel, seem to echo that imagery. This doesn't mean the verse is a scientific description. It simply invites reflection on how ancient words and modern knowledge sometimes meet in unexpected ways. In ocean science, we know the halocline and thermocline, layers of water with different salinity, temperatures, and densities. These differences create natural boundaries, sometimes even visible from above, as if two colors of water gently touch but do not instantly blend. This phenomenon can be fully explained by fluid physics, and it reminds us of how complex and beautiful nature truly is. When modern findings echo ancient text, it doesn't mean one proves the other. Instead, it opens a space for reflection on the vastness of the world, the depth of the oceans, and the long journey of human understanding. At the meeting point of science and spirituality, we are not always searching for definitive answers. Sometimes we're simply learning how to ask better questions. The ocean remains a mystery and humanity continues to learn. The verse remains a verse, offering meaning to whoever